Welcome to the second half of my puzzle rush run. So we are now on puzzle number 25. So the puzzles are getting pretty hard, guys. So the question is, how many puzzles can you solve? And how many puzzles do you think I, a former 1700 rated Blitz player, can solve? We've already used one of our three strikes, only two left until it's game over. Let's see what happens. So I think that is the move. Yep. 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 Okay. Um, so checks and captures. Queen takes f7. Looks pretty good. King d8. How do we finish it there? I believe you can go queen f8 check. They they capture and then the rook comes in and then that's checkmate because the bishop holds this square. Hope that makes sense. Check. Check. Mate. <clears throat> okay, really strong back rank um, problems in this puzzle. So checks and captures. Queen takes e6 is a check and a capture. So let's look at that. Um, if they do nothing, well, actually, he might have to go here to not get mated. But let, let's say he takes, then we're going to go queen, uh, rook e8, d8, uh, checkmate, basically. But if we take and he goes king f8, I mean, we're up a rook. So, oh, and then we also have a mate here on f7. So I think after queen takes e6, it's game over. And then this is mate because of our pawn. All right. Okay, checks and captures. The king looks very isolated in the corner. We have this x-ray on the bishop. Uh, the queen sacrifice looks pretty good. The rook might swing here at some point. Those are all my first thoughts. The problem is, though, this queen guards the rook when it comes in. So the queen can sacrifice for that and potentially stop the checkmate. So let's see. Okay, we're at 17 minutes. Ah, but what we can do is when we, <clears throat> okay, so when we sacrifice, king takes, only move. Um, <clears throat> when the knight, we're going to do some sort of double check on this king here. So the bishop is going to be checking the king and the knight's going to be checking. And when the knight moves to one of these two squares, it now is blocking the queen from the h3 square. So now our rook can at some point deliver the check. Um, so let's look, check. King takes, probably this move is more forcing. So let's go knight f5 check. Um, if king goes straight back, we have rook checkmate. Rook to h3 is checkmate, I believe. Because this knight will be holding this square and the, the king is on this square. So that's just a mate. Um, <clears throat> if, let's look at the other line. So takes, takes, knight to f5. If the king comes up now, um, they can come. He can come to h5. Pause the video right here. See if you can find where is the checkmate after the king comes to h5. So the line once more that we're looking at is queen takes pawn, king takes pawn, knight to f5 check, and then the king comes to h5. Okay, where's the mate? So the mate is rook g5 in that position. I'll show you right now. So takes, takes, check. King comes up. Checkmate. If that expanded your mind, I think you should drop a like on the video. All right, back to it. Oh, this is filthy. There's a rook g5 checkmate. The bishop holds the rook. The knight guards these squares. I think that's it. See if you can visualize Go ahead and pause if you want. See if you can visualize that in your head before I play it on the board. And here we go. And here, this is checkmate because the knight holds the square. Nothing can block. <clears throat> okay, we're at the 19 minute mark. So checks, um, I don't think this leads to anything. Just rook takes. Well, then 
Oh, <laughs> maybe I should look at this move first. So rook, rook takes g3 check. King to h2. Um, oh, I think there's going to be something where you can go like rook takes, bishop takes, and then queen takes. King here, though. Then king goes there. Um, well, let's play it for the sake of time. I would, I would say, oh, pfft, I'm in check. Oh man. Okay. Um, do I take, do I move up? I think I take, Oh, you could also go King G eight. No, no, you get made it. <laughs> okay. I think I take, all right. Um, and now I run for safety over here behind my pawns. Uh, oh, I could also go in. No, I think this is, is this safer? Which one's, well, no, if I go here, it's mate immediately. Queen F8 is mate. So I think I go here. And then I go here. And then I run in. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> checks and captures. Queen h2 looks good. King f8. Um, bishop c4 looks good there. Although, yeah, then they can block, but then you have a follow up in that position. Uh, see if you can go ahead and pause if you want and see if you can find the, the finish there. So um, check here, check. They block with something, and then I believe queen h1 is mate. Yeah, <clears throat> you use their own pieces as a um, in a, to prevent the white king from coming off the back rank. Okay, we can take this way. We can push this way. <clears throat> uh, we can take king takes. Then we have this corner check. But then what's the follow up? Then the king comes here. Is there a way to prevent that square from being available? Maybe we take here first. Knight takes g3, attacking the rook, and threatening checkmate. So this has to be dealt with. Um, well, it doesn't really solve it long term, though, huh? Because they just take. And then you're in the same position. We also have we also have this check. So takes, takes, check. Mm, no, it's not as forcing. This trick's also hanging, but I think I think we have to checkmate them somehow. Uh I mean it might just be takes, take, uh takes. Sorry, takes, takes check, they come up, and then we just come back and check them. Um, I don't really see anything else, so let's play it for now. Okay, we'll look at that one. Let me know down in the comments if you solved that one. So let me know what were the moves, and also how did you see it? I'm gonna heart any correct answers, and I will be impressed. So show me what you got. Takes. No. Okay, we do have a pin on the queen here, which is nice. Although our queen is also under attack, I just realized. Um, hmm. Very complicated. I could take here first. Could take here first. Well, if I take check, queen takes, and then I pick up the bishop. Um, oh, the problem is, though, then we're going to get checkmated. <laughs> so, yeah, look at that, too. They have a lot of pieces near a king. So that is an issue. Um, actually, yeah, they're, they're just always threatening. This is just main one. Oh, wait, no. I'm No, yeah. Yeah, main one. So we need to check, 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 or we need to dismantle this um, threat. 
pretty tough. I mean, we could block the. Eh, no, it doesn't. I was looking at this, but that doesn't work. It's really tough to stop this. How do we stop this? Okay, well, we do have so if takes. Uh, sorry, takes queen takes. Uh, we have queen to c4 ch check in that position, which gives us a tempo. Um, and then I don't know, maybe king to the corner. But then how are we gonna? How do we stop this now? I think now it's still not. The queen being here isn't enough to do something about all these pieces. Wow, this is a tough one. Let me know in the comments if you solve this one. If you're like Cody, you're being a dummy. Um, but I don't see it as of now. I think for the sake of this video, um, I'm just going to throw in a guess, but this is another one where I would recommend, like if you're really, you know, practicing, trying to get better that you just sit here and you just stew on it. You know, there's, there's still things I could sort out here. Um, so I would probably take another like two or three minutes, like just staring at it and just being curious about it, uh, and like trying to figure out, Hmm, okay, what else, what else is going on here? But um, I'm gonna throw in a guess, so let's just try it. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, wow, I was really overthinking it. There is a mate here. Uh, see if you can pause and find it. It's not too hard from here. And the mate is bishop to c4. Um, basically, the king is gonna have to move, and then the, uh, we're gonna take the queen with, with check, checkmate. So we just take, no problem. And mate, if you found that, good job. Uh, that was definitely a little easier than I expected. Um, but I'm rusty, so you know, that happens. Uh, queen to h6 looks devastating. Is there any way to stop the mating threats? We have mate here. Um, if the bishop moves, we have mate here. Yeah, I mean, if anything... Is there any defense to this? I don't think so. Well, ooh, knight could t no knight. We we still just we still just have this mate here. Oh man. Okay. That well, that was three. Uh, so let's take a quick look at the three we got wrong. Uh, let's check the the time here. This went longer than I expected. Twenty eight minutes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. A bit longer than I expected, but uh, I think it's also fun. It's cool. You get to see where I'm at and maybe um, some of these you got that I didn't. Um, so let's see. Uh, so this position, I thought we had the fork here. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, that was right. But then knight comes in and then the question is, what do you do from here? I guess I could have also taken the queen uh, and then knight takes queen, takes, takes. I don't know. Maybe that's what they wanted. Yeah. Why? I don't know why. Um, let's see. Why couldn't, why was my move bad? So if I go here, um, they're saying queen, queen D six. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It seems pretty equivalent. I'm not sure why I like, okay. Like takes, takes. Rookie too. Yeah, I don't know. Some of them, that, that wasn't that great of a puzzle in my opinion. <laughs> um, I think my move was also fine. Okay, so here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I should have considered the queen sacrifice. Wow. If you guys saw this one, good job. It's, de it's definitely seeable. Throw the king, the queen in the corner. Um, and then checkmate. Wow. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's another one. I think if I wasn't rusty, I would probably see that one. And our final one. Um, oh, they want the rook sacrifice. But how do you stop? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is this is much more clear. They block and then you have immediate mate. Um, but how how do you stop me after I go? Let's see. How do you stop me after queen queen h6? Knight h oh knight h5 and you intercept this. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I knew I I don't know. I just knew something about this just didn't feel like that was gonna be the answer. And it wasn't. It wasn't. So all right. Well, that was a, a pretty typical puzzle rush.
session, I would say. Um, I might do a few of these off camera. Um, <clears throat> but I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope that gave you some things to think about and how to solve your own, uh, <clears throat> to work on puzzles yourself. Uh, the biggest recommendation I would have is just don't have a time limit and don't guess and try to see the whole line ahead of time. Try to really calculate. Uh, doing these types of puzzles is how you build that muscle of of calculation and um, accuracy. So uh, don't rush it. Just let it happen. And if you're extra hardcore, um, if you watch Andres Toth's um, YouTube channel, he also recommends saying every move in your head as the actual move. So don't just be like, okay, queen here, da, 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 this move here, this move here. Actually be like, okay, queen h6, knight h5, like actually say the actual moves. Uh, I'm still rusty at that, but I do find that when I do that, I, I do have a better grip on the position. So I recommend that as well. All right, chess champions, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.